So we've run probably 300 pounds of uh, very wet, soupy material, coffee grounds, uh, pineapple tops, uh, just about anything and everything you could imagine you might find in food waste. And if you're looking at the hopper from the top side down, it's clearing nicely. Once in a while we have to shift the rotor feeder blades into reverse uh, because if we fill the hopper completely up it seems to uh, set things and bind for a moment but the minute you reverse it and move it forward it takes off again. We've had no stalling through the thrasher chamber and you can see down below here the very abundant pulverized material. It's basically just chipped out and uh, it's coming out nicely. I like the way this looks and it's all getting inoculated simultaneously as it goes through the machine. So uh, we don't have our full curtain to prevent any backsplash up. I would say that we're getting about 70-80% of the back uh, throwback from the thrasher box contained and if we put the two side curtains on that should uh, finish the job. So I'll turn it on. We'll get a little bit of a humming noise and you'll hear what the engine sounds like and uh, you may get a little bit of splash back here too. So let's just see what it looks like. Uh, not too bad right now. The hopper is pretty empty but uh, we'll be uh, filming a pineapple fruit uh, pineapple top uh, dump here in just a second and you'll get a chance to see what that looks like. Yeah, here's a uh, Here's a little sample of the next few bins that are going to go through the uh, pulverizer and you can see we got some healthy sized pineapple tops and we've got uh, looks like a lot of lettuce and bok choy and uh, gee there's melons and rinds and all kinds of stuff. Here we got a lot of biscuits, red materials, uh, corn rubber bands, corn cobs, beans, a little bit of watermelon in there. We, uh, we dumped a couple of bins of uh, coffee grounds with the filters that was heavy and uh, we did have to reverse the uh, feeder uh, motor a couple times and uh, we actually had a stick uh, to uh, push some of the material down a little bit because the coffee grounds were so wet and heavy they weren't sliding freely on their own down the hopper but uh, I like uh, very much the action I'm seeing and I think we're we're getting a good pulverized inoculated food waste system going here. So uh, Scott Olson is going to be uh, chief dumpster on the next uh, video and we'll see what the uh, pineapple tops look like. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start up here. And it's a, a button and you hear a crack of the thrashing chains as they straighten out. And here you can see we're ready to go. Here we got some bread and onions. Try 
one more. This will be some uh, lettuce here. Looks like a lot of bok choy and other material. the uh, first 55 gallon drum that's full of pulverized food waste and uh, we didn't have the barrel quite positioned exactly where it should have been and we got a little bit of sp spill over at the top as we got up close to the top here but we'll be uh, running another one we've now just moved the machine to the left and have another barrel position ready to fill and we're we're going to be looking at some more material here we've got lots of good stuff pineapple tops watermelon Looks like uh, a few paper plates in there and some uh, a lot of vegetable matter. So this will be a good uh, good run. Uh, more of the the same type material. And uh, so we'll have uh, fun running this through the pulverizer. The uh, brown powder that you see on the surface there is the culture mix, and that's already been primed, so it's getting inoculated as it goes through and ends up in the 55 gallon drum. So. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Scott, give the red green uh, signal. Here we are. You can see Peter blades turning in the hopper, and here's our first bit. Silver paper and coffee grounds in that load. 
you want to do some pineapple tops, let's, let's take a run there. Got a little bit of paper in there as well. Also some coffee. reverse the cedar blades a couple times. Here we got a bunch of vegetable matter, lettuce and other things. looking load. A bunch of peaches, bread, who knows what. Hey Scott, we're pretty full here. Pretty cool. 